Antibiotic resistance affects all countries in the world, but without a reliable, comprehensive system to collect data, it's impossible to get a real global overview of the situation. So let's focus on one particular region, the Middle East. In its hospital in Amman in Jordan, MSF treats casualties from Iraq and Syria and has observed that around 50% of its patients suffer from a multi-drug resistant germ infection. Why? The context first. Population displacements caused by conflict foster the propagation of bacteria. Moreover, the destruction of hospitals and poor hygiene result in the wounded being treated in unsanitary environments. But it also stems from a more global phenomenon. Antibiotics being overprescribed by doctors, being available off the shelf in stores and being misused by patients. How does antibiotic resistance come about? Bacteria become resistant either from a random genetic mutation or because they get wise to an antibiotic with repeated exposure and thereby learn to fend it off. To understand how resistance spreads, let's take a closer look at this bacteria sample, which is similar to what can be found in our bodies. Some bacteria are good, but others make us ill, and some of these may already be resistant. When an antibiotic is introduced, most of the bacteria disappear, including the good bacteria, which are there to help our bodies defend themselves. So only the resistant ones remain, and they are free to multiply. Worse still, they can transmit the information to other bacteria, showing them how to become resistant. This can lead to severe health problems that can be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to treat. What can be done? There are no new antibiotics on the horizon. And anyway, waiting for new drugs to come out onto the market isn't an option, as the whole process will simply happen all over again. Preventing resistance calls for attacking the root causes. Firstly, the behavioural causes, making people aware of the need to use antibiotics with moderation, and better informing health workers to avoid inappropriate or over-prescription. But we must go even further and address the health system itself. Regulating the sale of antibiotics and setting up solid surveillance networks are essential. If we don't, we may as well just forget many of today's antibiotics.